Hi, my name is Michael White, mix engineer, mastering engineer, and founder of the MPG Music Production School. Um, about 30 years ago, I started working in professional studios. The first studio I worked at was a studio called Right Track Recording, and it was at that facility that I met Whitney Houston, uh, probably the best client that I had throughout my career. I ended up being a chief engineer for uh, about six or seven of her albums over the next 15 years and did countless other projects with her. Um, also, my experience at Right Track led to uh, creating relationships, uh, recording artists like Mick Jagger, uh, recording David Byrne, uh, David Bowie, and uh, many, many, many other artists, including James Taylor. Um, I eventually moved on to work at Electric Lady Studios, where I was a staff engineer there. And uh, from there, I developed my skills and learned a completely different way of making records, uh, included including doing some uh, mixing work um, on some Jimi Hendrix tribute records uh, with Eddie Kramer. So, uh, so some really incredible experiences working with some of the top um, producers in the industry. And I get many requests from people who ask me what monitors to buy. I think quite often one of the bigger mistakes that people make is that they buy a monitor that is much bigger than the space, the acoustic space that they're using it in will allow. And uh, people will focus more on having a full frequency response, but you have to also focus on what is going to be the optimum listening volume for those speakers and how much of that and the acoustics of your room is going to be affected in a negative way. So um, appropriately sizing the monitors is the biggest thing. Uh, the next thing, and this is so important, is that um, you have to listen to monitors. Everybody's ears are different and they will hear precision and detail in a monitoring system in different ways. So there's no one setup or one system or one monitor that will work for everybody. A few weeks back, Prasanna uh, sent me a new pair of monitors that they were releasing uh, called the R80s. And uh, I'm always skeptical of new monitors and claims, but uh, I set them up and, um, and had a listen. I was actually, at that particular moment, I was working on a couple of mastering jobs and mixing jobs. And uh, what I noticed immediately was the precision and the detail of the high frequency response. And uh, what was most interesting to me, and it pissed me off, was that it, it actually exposed uh, some uh, high mid distortion that I wasn't hearing in my uh, current monitoring system. And, uh, and so when I started to reevaluate my mixes and started to listen to them through the system, I started to realize that I wanted to revisit a few things that maybe I didn't quite hone in as, as much as I would have liked. Um, I actually uh, think the monitors are, are really good for that. The, uh, the precision of the high end and detail and the quality of the imaging, um, I, I was really very impressed by them. This is absolutely a monitor that I would recommend um, to uh, students of my school and uh, in particular people who are looking to either upgrade um, their monitoring system, move beyond their headphone systems, um, and uh, you know have something that they can uh, sit down in their home studio and, and see and hear the depth and detail of what it is that they're working on.